man's dad would be clapping his hands in heaven. Spurgeon said, we delight to look down the long avenues of trees. Kind of like up on a, a vista. Have you ever stood on top of a vista and looked out and saw the clouds that formed the shadows on top of the mountains? And standing from the vista, a sort of verdant temple with its branching pillars and its arches of leaves. Even so, look down the long aisles of your ears at the green boughs of mercy overhead and the strong pillars of loving kindness and faithfulness which bear up your joys. Are there no birds in yonder branches singing? Surely there must be many days and, uh, and they all sing of mercy received hitherto. We look forward as well as past. I wish I could, could not have to say these things, but in the future for us, there will be more trials. More joys, more temptations, more triumphs, prayers, answers to prayers, toils. Times will need strength, more battles to fight, victories, things to overcome, sickness, old age, disease. Isn't this encouraging? Mm -hmm. And one day, death. <laughs> but when that comes, there's even more. Mm -hmm. Hitherto, the Lord has helped us. In the future, we have the awakening in the likeness of Jesus. One day, we shall be like Him because we'll see Him as He is. The thrones, the harps, the songs, the psalms, the white raiment, the face of Jesus, the society of the saints and the millennial period, the eternity, the glory of God, the fullness of eternity, the infinity of bliss, all this will be ours hitherto hath the Lord helped us. And so today we raise up our flags of Ebenezer. The Lord has helped us. And we say like David, couple scriptures from David that speak to this. We say as David said in Psalm 107, 1 and 2, listen to this. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Amen. His mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Who hath redeemed us from the hand of the enemy? Past tense. He has redeemed us. There's a lot for us to be thankful for as we approach the new year. In Psalm 121, 1 and 2, he says, I'll lift up my eyes under the hills, from whence cometh my help. He says, my help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Present tense. Psalm 46, 1, God is our refuge and strength, our very present help in trouble. But you know what? In Psalm chapter 23, it even shows this past, present, and future when he says, The Lord is my shepherd. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the future, he says, I shall not want. God is our help. God is our help. Cute little saying, little poem. Time is very much like banking. The past is a canceled check. I mean, no cancel check. It's no good anymore. It's gone. It's been spent. The past is a canceled check. Tomorrow is a promised note. But today is cash. And we need to spend it wisely. David said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not. As we approach the new year, the Lord has given us some great goals and vision for this body of Jesus. And I want to share them with you. They're not in any, they're not in order of importance, but there's about seven of them. And I would like you to write them down in your bulletin so that you can be praying over these things. Okay? So today's kind of like, don't be bored. I'm not as boring as the president, I hope. This is the State of the Union, everybody. And uh, so uh, new folks that are here, uh, uh, 
uh, I ask your forgiveness. But at the same time, if you're looking for a body to be in, you're, you come at a good time because you see what we're all about. Okay? We're not about uh, 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 fundraising dinners. You know? You go to church and it's ham soup sale. Uh, we're not about that. Although, I'll tell you, we eat a lot. And uh, uh, I could use a little less of that this year. I won't tell you what that what my goal is for that. But um, first thing I want you to write down as a goal for the new year is the starting of a Celebrate Recovery group on Wednesday evenings. Again, I don't have these in any uh, area. I haven't put these in uh, as uh, listed in importance. But God has called us uh, th in this year. I, I've kind of come up with a little slogan that we're going to start putting it out on things and uh, and presenting it to you so you can keep it forefront <coughs> in your mind. Well, what is our purpose as a church? What has become our purpose? Our purpose is not just once a week or twice a week gathering in this building and, and staying in a certain format. And although every time, you know, we, we tend to fall into a format. That, but um, I believe that our theme this year is, is taking people from brokenness to purpose. Brokenness to purpose. Everyone in the body of Jesus Christ discovering their purpose and seeing people in their lives transformed for the glory of God. Yeah. Last week we had a, a kind of negative happening happening. A, a young man I was ministering to ended up being sent to detox. And he's now at Ark, 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 uh, Ark uh, Manor Rehab. He's in Titanic and Seven days got to go by. I'll see him on Tuesday. And uh, we're really believing strong that uh, in the next week I'll be dropping him a Teen Challenge. If you notice in your bullet, then and we'll talk about this a little bit, but um, we uh, believe strongly in that ministry and seeing people. You know what? Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds I'm finding of broken people in our community of every area and walk of life who need to be transformed by the glory of God. And so this Celebrate Recovery Group is a group that's going to deal with addictions. It's not going to be for everybody on Wednesday night, but it's going to be opened up for the public to come. And it's a strong, Bible-inspired 12-step program that's going to minister to people uh, in that area. Pray for Sister Diane as she's going to be stepping back from some of her duties uh, to really put herself into this ministry that she feels um, God has for her. Um, secondly, I'd like you to write this down. In this new year, our men's and women's ministry groups will be having a Bible reading accountability program that will begin uh, in this new year. Our goal is to capture everyone in the body of Christ to get excited about reading through the Word of God this coming year. Our women's group is looking at a program called E100, and that will be starting on Monday nights, and it's, it's a monitoring accountability way of making sure, encouraging everyone to get in the Word of God every day and to discipline yourself in the Word of God. At the same time, our men are doing something a little bit different. It's a study that <laughs> takes you through the Word of God, and emphasizes the red letters. The red letters. See, us, us men like to cut to the chase. Go right to the important part. The red letters. The words of Jesus. Just teasing. Um, but the men will be having also a Bible reading accountability program. And we're going to be getting a copy of, of, the red, of this book called Red Letters. And uh, into the hands of all of our men. And uh, you say, well, Pastor, why, why are we doing this? Because we want to bring us as a body of Christ uh, together, moving along, in, in, in enveloping, taking in 
uh, large amounts of the Word of God, which we know through the Word of God, it's able to change our lives. Some events in this coming year, in May, if you write this down, May we'll be having our missions conference, and this year we're blessed with a, a very unusual missions conference. Um, we are going to have with us um, an international touring group of actors called the Covenant Players who will be coming into our missions conference and portraying and acting on this stage um, the mission's message. Along with that, our missionary this year is going to be um, uh, John and uh, J.D. Chedister. Did I say that right? Chedister? From Africa. And uh, they have been with us earlier. And so, um, please keep that in prayer. Another happening. Write this down on number four. Or number five. Is this four? Okay. Write this down. Another missions event. Yes. I'm sorry. You can go ahead and write that down. The women's retreat in April will have um, a, 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 my wife's pastor when she was a child. The pastor's wife, Alita Walker uh, from California, will be in here to at the women's retreat. And we hope to be able to provide a men's and women's meeting here at the church where she'll minister to our marriages. Number five. You remember a couple missions, conventions back, a, a couple that we stood with and said we felt God telling us to support. And that, and they are the Roofs, last name Roofs, R-O-O-F-S. And uh, I believe, how do you say her name, Mickey? Const Constance. Constance? Constance. 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 Constance, the wife is a native from Brazil, and uh, they went back to her hometown with the purpose of establishing a new church. During the month of March, um, the Roos will be with us to report on that project of how it's going. Next is our summer camp meeting. You know that we have been working and talking and communicating about this building. And this coming uh, camp meeting, I canceled our speaker and slotted in our new bishop uh, will be with us for our big camp meeting. And that is uh, Bishop Bruce Hill will be with us. And things are continuing to dialogue and we're believing the Lord to receive um, the full note of our building, zero to pay. And uh, so be in prayer for that as he's coming. This is a strategic time. He's coming to see what the Lord has been doing in this place. And so um, be in prayer for that. Also, uh, next year, uh, in the month of August, our missions group will be doing a trip for two weeks uh, to the state of Alaska. And uh, um, be in prayer for the, and those who are interested need to um, see uh, Mike Reed and um, Amy up front here about going on that trip. Um, it's, uh, the accommodations are free and your meals paid. Um, the cost is just the airfare um, to get there. And so uh, five or six people from our congregation probably will be going to that. Um, let them know as soon as possible if you're interested. I believe I'm on number seven. Number eight. We had the retreat. Okay. Number eight is the opening of our ministry house. And um, the reason that I mentioned that is in this in the past um, we have dropped off women at different times. Lance had three or four that have come to stay at her house. And so one of the reasons why we are buying such a large house, 16 rooms, is for the fact that we want to continue to help people go from brokenness to purpose in their life. And so we're uh, believing to...